Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about explicit and implicit costs. These are important concepts not only in economics but in everyday life that help us to understand the true cost of doing business and the choices that we make. With that said, let's get into it. First, let's talk about explicit costs. These are the costs that a business or an individual incurs when it pays for something directly. For example, if you run a bakery, your explicit costs would include things such as buying ingredients, paying rent, hiring employees, and so on. These are all costs that you would see on a balance sheet and they're relatively easy to measure. They all have a defined monetary value and a nice little way of remembering them is that you can typically get a receipt or an invoice for costs that are explicit. Now let's talk about implicit costs. These are the costs that a business or individual incur when they forgo an opportunity to use resources in a different way. If we go back to our baking example, if you decide to open up a bakery, you may be giving up the opportunity to use your skills and resources to start a different type of business or potentially to work for someone else in a standard nine to five job. This is an implicit cost because it is not a direct expense that you can see on the balance sheet, but it is still a cost that you are incurring. This might seem a bit confusing at first, so let's look at an example. What better example to use than the bakery example that we've been using so far? Suppose you're considering starting a bakery and you have the opportunity to rent a storefront for $1,000 a month. This is an explicit cost because you can see it on your balance sheet. But what are the implicit costs? Well, let's say that you have a degree in economics and you would earn $7,000 a month working as an economist. Well, if you decide to open up the bakery, you are giving up the opportunity to earn that money as an economist, and therefore that is an implicit cost. You may recognize this concept as having similar traits to another big economics concept known as opportunity cost, which is the cost of your best foregone alternative. Now, there are plenty of other explicit and implicit costs associated with starting a business, and this was just one example of each. In a moment, we'll look at two more examples to help further grasp the concept. If you feel like you understand the concept well enough and you want to see a video covering opportunity costs, we'll link to another video we've made in the description and I invite you to check it out if that's something you want to further your understanding in. Now let's get into the next example which looks specifically at implicit costs. Another example of implicit costs is the cost of using your own resources such as your own time or labor. Suppose that in another life you decided that instead of becoming an economist, you decided to be a graphic designer and you're thinking about taking on a freelance project. The client is offering to pay you $2,000 for the project, but it will take 40 hours to complete. If you decide to take on this project, you are giving up the opportunity to use those 40 hours in a different way, such as working on a personal project, spending some time with your family, or even taking on a different freelance project. Have you ever heard the phrase, time is money? Well, when calculating economic costs, it truly is. These are all implicit costs. They're costs without a clearly defined monetary value, yet they were just as important to consider as explicit costs. Now it's worth noting that most things actually involve both explicit and implicit costs, and to find something called the economic costs, you need to add these two costs together. Consider the following example. Let's say that you're at work, and you decide to take an unpaid hour-long lunch break to catch up with an old friend, and your bill at the restaurant is $20. But that isn't the only cost that you need to consider. That's the explicit cost of lunch, but the implicit cost is the amount of money you lost by not being at work. So suppose that you make $18 an hour, then the economic cost would actually be the sum of the explicit cost, that is the $20 that you paid for lunch, but also the foregone $18 from not working that extra hour. That brings the total economic cost of your lunch to $38. So while it might look on the surface that your cost is only 20, this isn't the case when including implicit costs. So to summarize, explicit costs are the costs that a business or individual incur when they pay for something directly, while implicit costs are the costs that a business or individual incurs when it forgoes an opportunity to use its resources in a different way. Both of these costs are very important to consider when making decisions because they help us understand the true cost of doing business and making everyday choices. If you found this video helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, leave a comment in the comments section telling us what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.